All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're jumping in and taking the hardest NBA quiz on the internet. Um, the makers of the quiz say no one will get over 50%. So I'm curious to test our NBA knowledge. I consider myself an NBA junkie, NBA fan, but if this quiz is that hard, we could see an epic fail here. But we're gonna take it anyways. We're gonna record the experience. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. So hit that like button for it and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you do enjoy the grind and the content that we're putting in. I mean, I cannot thank you guys enough and we can't get to our goals without you guys. And I'm hoping to, uh, you know, be able to give back in any way I can as we go. So make sure to that subscribe button and like the video and yeah i mean i got these got these bad boy blue lights on right now trying to protect the eyes looking like a snack while doing it don't you dare say that i look weird in the comments but we got a quiz i threw on the glasses maybe giving me like two extra iq points i don't know we'll see let's jump right into it i have not even began to take any part of this but it looks like we have a 17 minute quiz 30 questions and uh yeah i might as well you know what Good luck to us. Here we go. How many times have the Spurs missed the playoffs? What the heck? <laughs> How am I supposed to? Seven. All right, six. Yikes. What's the name of the dunk Vince Carter performed over a 7-3 center from France? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Two questions and I don't even know. Le dunk de la mort? Dunk of death, Canadian killer, and sanity? Do I just educationally guess this one because his name was Vince Sanity? Sure. Oh my God, La Dunk de la Mort. What is that? Who has won the most dunk contests of all time? Dad. All right, all right. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get this going here. You guys are probably like, ah, oh, you suck at this, Evan. Um, who famously dropped 13 points in 33 seconds? Tracy McGrady. We got one right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We got one right. Let's go. Who would true? Oh my gosh. Who has traded nine times in his career? <sighs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Out goes Y O U. Tom McClain. Oh my goodness. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Can't even get these right. Which players has scored um, 70 points in a game? Wilt, Elgin, Devin Booker. I know that at least Wilt and D Book have. Um, Wilt, Michael, and Kobe. That's gotta be it. Michael Jordan never scored 70 points. What? <laughs> did, did that say which one was the right answer? Uh-oh. We're lost here. Um, I will right, look back on that because I do uh, I do feel like it could have been that first one um, All right, what question are we on who is the tallest player in NBA history? I mean, maybe Yao Ming. I feel like it's not I'm absolutely sucking here. Yeah, I don't even really know who he is How many first-time all-stars were there this year? We suck we suck which of these players have 50 point game have a 50 point games Multiple, I guess. Can't be Aaron Gordon, Corey Brewer, Mitch Ridmond, Mitch Mitch Richmond, KG. These are weird. They're very, very like out of nowhere questions, I guess. Like you don't need to be an, you need to be an NBA absolute geeked out nerd to get these. So credit to anyone that is absolutely ace in this so far. But have a 50 point game. We're gonna go what I feel like is an unlikely answer, Corey Brewer. Yeah, I had that in the back of my head. How many 50 point dunks have there been in the dunk contest? It can't be 76 or 80. It just can't be. 42 seems even high. We're gonna go low here. Yeah, but then again, you get two per year. That can only take 10 years. We're gonna go 23. It seems like the most realistic number. It's probably 42. It was 76. That was the number I ruled out immediately. Who is the highest paid out of everyone here? Evan Turner, Biznak, Miyamo, Chandler Parsons. I think it's Chandler Parsons. It's one, it's either, It's not Timothy Mozgov. Evan Turner did get a dumb deal after leaving the Celtics, right? Bismack Biombo, I feel like, is kind of famous for having a terrible deal, but Chandler Parsons got a max contract um, probably more recently than Bismack Biombo. Sometimes we're a genius, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes we have it in there. Um, Elton Bram, Bob McAdoo, Randy Smith, or Blake Griffin for a leading scorer for the Clippers. Um, Elton Brand, maybe? Probably one of either Bob McAdoo or Elton Brand. 
And it's Randy Smith. <laughs> How many assists is John Stockton ahead of the player who is second all time? That's a good question. See, that's the that's this to another level, right? Like, who has the most assists all time? John Stockton. But here we go. Let's dig a little bit deeper. Um, we're gonna go with, by the way, to get over 50%, don't we have to get like almost all of these right coming up? So yikes. Um, who's the second all time? I don't even know who that is, but we have to take a guess here. Who who John Stockton or uh, how many John Stockton? And we got it right. We got it right, ladies and gentlemen. What year was Andrew Bogut drafted? 2007? No, 2005. Um, who was the youngest player in NBA history? Is it Kobe? All the... Or Darko? I don't even know, man. All these guys, like... Would you be like, oh, did they go to college? No. But this isn't helping. It's. I'm going to say... I want to say Darko Milicic. Just because, you know, he came in foreign, huge, you know, name and everything like that. But it's probably like Jermaine O'Neal. And it's Andrew Bynum. Who is the oldest player in NBA history? Yikes. Okay. Dikembe Willis... Parish or Hickey. This is another game. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Nah. I just guessed. Let's go. How many times has Eddie Jones and Glenn Rice been on the same team? How the hell should I know that? Three. Ladies and gentlemen, we're balling. How many teams did Chucky Brown play for? Well, I don't know who Chucky Brown is. So now we got a problem. Uh, eight. 12 teams? How many all-star teams have John Stockton and Carl Malone been on together? Now that's a good one. Oh, these numbers are like 13 and 11 seem super high, but... 10. Yep. Uh, that was process of elimination. It wasn't 9. I knew it was a double digit. Um, where does Andre Miller place all-time in assists? He probably places sneaky high. I'm going to say it's one of these single digits. Um, 9th? 11th. We're close, I guess. Um, who was the most improved player in 2003? Dude, I was eight in 2003. Oh my God. It's got to be someone like <sighs> Gilbert or Zach Randolph. That's what I'm thinking. Zebo. Damn it. We had it. We had it. Who is the youngest player to reach 7,000 rebounds? I would have to, I mean, I feel like Wilt just got so many rebounds so early. He would have, like, what are the re the rumors of, like, his 20, 20, 30, 30 type games? Um, but it might be Andre Drummond getting those crazy rebounds. But I guess, I guess we just, we just go with one of the most dominant bigs of all time here. Wilt and his Dwight Howard. Ladies and gentlemen, we are, we are needing to now hit all of the remaining questions to get above 50%. Who is the youngest player to score 50 points? Oh my God. Brennan Jennings, boom, let's go. Which team has the most losses in a single season? It's probably the Bobcats. No, it's the Sixers. Oh. How many years did Dennis Rodman lead the league in rebounding? Seven. What is Andrew Wiggins' vertical? I, 43, we're guessing. I should have just gone with the highest one. How many picks used? How many picks used to be in the NBA draft? Three rounds. Oh, that's not going to help me, is it? What? How, when's used to? Like when is used to? <laughs> right? When is it used to be? Like what year? Uh, 177. Yikes! What team drafted Rajan Rondo? Did he get drafted by the Kings onto the Celtics? Or am I absolutely making this up? The Suns. What team has the most first overall pick? Sixers? Cavs. Oh my goodness, guys. Last question. How many subscribers does KOT4... Oh my god, I know who that is, too. Um, I think he has probably way more than this now. Um, when was this made? Do I get that? Do I get any sort of clue here when this quiz was made? This, this is tough. Uh, 550. 450. We were wrong. So, uh... <laughs> We got nine out of 30. Guys, that's tough. Nine out of 30. What was that one that I wanted to see? The 70 point game. The correct answer would have been the first one that I wanted to. The first one that I wanted to get. <sighs> All right. Well, that does wrap it up for this. I mean, yikes. I mean, I got nine out of 30. 
it took eight minutes maybe i should have taken a little bit less time there but um or more time i guess i should say but the glasses didn't really help but they did protect my eyes from the blue lights apparently i'm just trusting what the website tells me but uh guys that's what i got for you guys make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button comment down below the dumbest question that i answered did i have one that was obvious in your mind that i absolutely just botched let me know what you guys think and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out Thank you.